We've learned about two distinct names that we can give to each note of the major scale. First, we learned about letter names. We learned that each note gets a letter name, starting on C, going to D, and E, and F, and G, and A, and B, and C. So we end back on the C, and then we start the cycle all over again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And we can do that all the way up the piano keyboard and then all the way down the piano keyboard. We then learned about solfege syllables. So instead of calling the first note of the scale C, we called the first note of the scale Do. And then Re, and then Mi, and then Fa, and then Sol, and then La, and then C, and then coming back to Do. And just like with letter names, we start the cycle all over again. So we go Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. And again, we can keep going up the piano keyboard and down the piano keyboard doing that same thing, repeating that same cycle over and over again. I'm now going to give you a third name or a third way that we can talk about each of these notes. And that's by assigning each of these notes a number. And we're going to start with the first note of the scale, what we would sometimes call Do or C, and we're going to give that, that note a number. We're going to call it number one, which makes sense because it's the first note of the scale. Then we're going to go to number two, and then three, and then four, and then five, and then six, and then seven, and finally eight. And just because we do the same thing with, with letter names and, and solfege syllables, uh, we can also think about this 8 as being a return to scale degree 1 because just like with solfege syllables and letter names, this cycle is going to keep going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so forth up the piano keyboard. And we can do the same thing going down the piano keyboard as well. When we assign a number to each of the notes of the major scale, we refer to these as scale degrees. And just to make sure that we don't mix up scale degrees with the other numbers that we sometimes use, like fingerings in piano music, or uh, later on in the semester we're going we're to be counting up half steps, and intervals and other things like that. To make sure that we don't mix up these numbers with, with any of those, we do two things. First of all, we usually put scale degrees above the staff instead of below the staff. And we always add this little triangle on top that's known as a carrot. And that lets us know that what we're talking about specifically are the scale degrees. So you may think to yourself, well, why do we have, why do we need three separate ways of, of naming each of these notes of the major scale? It isn't, isn't one or two, isn't that plenty? Um, and the answer is that's a really interesting question. But before I answer that question, in the next, next video, I am going to introduce you to yet another way of referring to each of these notes of the major scale.